the channel Van Newbie. Uh, the reason for today's video is because we got a generator last week. The hurricane has been coming for about a week now and everyone is in the stores buying water, buying generators, buying everything. And today I'm going to show you how to install the portable generator through the wall kit. I've already installed it but I will show you footage of some of what I did to install it. Um, the point of this thing is so that you can run your generator outdoors away from your home, run the 10 gauge wire to the panel and then have all your doors closed and run extension cords from your refrigerator to this panel here so that you can eliminate the hazard of poisoning yourself and your family inside of your home. Uh, this particular unit came with a little pigtail that you attach on the very bottom. So right here, this one came with this, um, this unit here and I've already installed it. It looks like this when it's in the wall. You have this here, then you have some conduit going through your outside wall, your inside wall, and then the outside unit that I'll show you in a second. Then you have the pigtail and your 10 gauge wire going to your generator to prevent this from happening. This thing will power 30 amps of either 125 or 250 volts alternating current. And this receptacle here, or this uh, pigtail here is capable of transmitting up to 30 amps, 3,750 watts is its max that it will hold. So don't overextend this, guys. Now, let's go outside so you can see. So this is what it looks like here. Um, and then if right up under here, okay, right under here is where you open this and you stick the pigtail in there. And, and there we go so the pigtail is there and then now you put your existing uh, regular 10 gauge from here down the street to your back of your garage or wherever you're going to have it away from door. So what I'm doing here is I'm drilling the hole through the inner wall using the existing flat drill bit that came with the kit. Here I am pulling out the insulation out of my way otherwise it'll get bound up on my drill bit. So I'm looking in there I'm trying to figure out what what's in here. I want to make sure there's no electricity wires coming through. If there is you need to move them out of the way. In my case there was. You see me over on the right side there there was one I had to push over. So now I'm going through the second outer wall and there you see the tip poking out and I'm about to come in through the outside and it's to prevent splintering. Cut through the wall, now I just get the debris out of the way and that's what it looks like when it's put together. I tape the ends of the wires so that I don't get any uh, anything gets snagged up in there with the insulation or anything. Uh, now I'm just dry fitting it, making sure everything is good. I'm going to come out the outside and mark that PVC pipe so I can cut it. Alright, so here's another dry fit. I had already went outside to check if it was coming out the other side. And it was. So now with the screws here, I'm putting them in place so I can hammer them. Just so I can mark the drywall so I know where I'm going to be drilling the uh, wall anchors for the drywall. So now you'll see the little marks on the back. drill the holes through there so I can put the plastic anchors that came with the kit. 
Now I only show you how I did this on one of them, but obviously you do the same thing for all four. The instructions call for you to put the all-purpose cement between the joint of the PVC pipe and the outlet and I didn't do that because I didn't know if I was going to have to pull the pipe back out. Luckily I didn't because I did have to pull it back out and cut it two more times. At this point I end up screwing the screws all the way in and not having to pull them out again. This here is the outside unit. You have to pop out that little circle and a little washer comes and you put it on the back and then you put the little screw on, uh, I guess plug, whatever you want to call it, where the PVC pipe is going to be cemented in with the all-purpose cement that you hopefully bought. Right here, I'm tightening it up. Now, I didn't tighten it too much because there's going to be that all-purpose cement on there anyway. And also, there's going to be an O-ring that'll weather uh, carry it. I forgot to record the part where I put the outer unit on and mounted it to the wall but it's pretty self-explanatory now here you have the four wires that come into here w for white y is red x is black and g is green just put them in there like a regular outlet that you would put in and just screw it in phillips screwdriver Now these two screws here have floating nuts on the back so make sure you don't accidentally shove them out and then lose them. Uh, that's why I have my finger in the back and I'm hugging on it trying to prevent that uh, nut from falling out the back end. Alright guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching.